Back in the early to mid 2000s, I got very interested in lean processes, Toyota production systems and Six Sigma. And I realized that the way we were setting up our surgical cases was pretty labor intensive. And so that became a, a, an improvement project. How could we be more efficient and less weight, wasteful? The drill is we do the numbing here, we're gonna do your surgery next door. So okay. this will just take a few minutes. Mark the incision. It's a really comfortable environment for the right patient, which is the majority of patients. It's, it's a no fuss, no bother approach. You know, if you're diabetic, you eat breakfast, you take your normal medications. It's just very straightforward and uncomplicated. You don't have to get undressed. You don't have to have an IV started. You don't have to have an H&P done. Usually I try to go in and chat with the patient before and go over what's going to happen and then go over what we'll expect afterwards. Then we can also do that during the case. So they've gotten the instructions two or three times. And I find we rarely ever get calls from patients with any of the wide awake hand procedures because they've gotten it so often and they've gotten it while they're wide awake. It's full sterile technique. The instruments are sterilized the same way they are for the operating room. These are the kinds of cases that in any environment, you know, we can duplicate that sterility here. Any discomfort there at all? No. No pain? Good. The biggest joy is just being able to actually interact and talk with my patients while I'm doing the surgery. You're doing fine there, Stephen? Good. You know, as surgeons, we see patients in a clinic or an office setting, and we're, we're really very focused on their condition and coming with a diagnosis and having a treatment plan. And then we go to the OR, the patient's asleep, and we still don't really have much of an opportunity to get to know them. And I find with doing this under local, I, get, I really get to know my patients a lot better. Stephen, can we just get you to bend your finger up and down a few times? Curl it even more. Okay, and straighten out. Okay, good. I can feel with my finger the spot that was locking and it's completely unlocked now. This, this stuff I'm wrapping here, it, it just, it's like a, an ace, but it yeah. sticks to itself. So if any point it feels you know, too tight, you can just unwrap it and rewrap it again. Keeping it up is the most yep. important thing. So when you're lying at bed tonight, a couple of pillows beside you to, or folded blankets to keep it yep. elevated. Okay. Any other questions before I, okay. before I leave you? you? My pleasure, and have a fantastic trip to Sicily. I'm okay. jealous. <laughs> you Maybe mean? one day. The fact that they don't have to get undressed, they can stand up and I can walk with them out to see their family. They do seem to be very grateful, and they, they express that. This is so much easier. You're in and out in a half hour, and I mean, I'm going to get up and walk out of here. And this is just so much simpler than being put to sleep. I just like the calm, well-organized, well-oiled machine that gets this done in a way that's minimum stress for patients.